Good evening, my name is Engineer Piyush Pandey. Welcome to today's session of Motivational Skills. So the topic for today's discussion is Why we Indians are not taught about our golden history and our glorious past in school books. Today you ask any youth studying in school that who were the ancient historic heroes, who were the real figures who did something great for the country and for society and you will come to know that most of the people do not know even their names. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the condition of our knowledge here in India. The youth of the country is absolutely unaware that what happened exactly in the past and how the circumstances that happened in past, they shaped today's world. Why there are different types of rituals that we follow in different religion? Why there are different types of prayer patterns that we follow in different religion? Who originated these prayers? Why we actually pray? Who are these gods whom we say that they are our gods, they belong to our culture, they belong to our religion? People today do not know anything about it. Because systematically, all these glorious things have been removed from history books. That's why in most of the cases, whenever we come across religious things, whenever we want our children to know that what is absolutely related to our religion, our children are initially not able to accept it because they think that it is all superstition and why they call it superstition because they have not been told anything about our glorious past, about our glorious history. If you don't tell your children that what happened in past, your children will never come to know that where they actually come from and what are their real roots. Every individual has got certain roots. You belong to a family. You belong to a family and that family has got a past. You might be having a village. You might be having a village where the parents of your grandparents lived. We are aware of it because our parents told us about it that yes, you are living in this particular city, you are working in this particular city, you are studying in this particular city, in this particular school, but you have a village also. You have a village also and that is your root. Our parents told us this thing and that's why we know that we are having village which is our root and we are only living in city just because we are doing some kind of job over there or we are studying in schools or colleges. This is the reason why we are living in city. Otherwise, our roots lie in village. So our actual home is village. And this was told to us by our parents. In the same way, ladies and gentlemen, there is nobody right now to tell us that what is our religious past? What is the religious glory of our ancient history? That's why in most of the cases, today's youth, they don't even believe in God. They don't believe in existence of God. They don't believe in prayer. They never go to temple. They don't do any type of religious activity. Whatever religious activities we do, yagya, havan, anushthan, all these types of things, especially, uh, specifically, I'm talking about Hindu religion, whatever these things we do in our day-to-day -day life, youth of modern time, they always have a question against it. That why you are doing this kind of thing and this is absolutely baseless superstition. But this is not superstition, ladies and gentlemen, unless we tell our kids that what it really is, our kids will never be able to understand that what are our real values. And if it continues like this, if we stop telling our kids these things, we stop telling them what, what was Ramayana, what was Mahabharata, who was Krishna, who is Vishnu, who is Brahma, who is Mahesh. If we stop telling these things to our kids, very soon our kids will forget our own culture. Very soon our kids will forget our own culture. And future is very dark for Hindu religion, especially ladies and gentlemen. For Hinduism, the future is absolutely dark if you do not tell your kids that what are the real values of Hinduism and why we do a particular kind of thing in our religion. I must say that whatever rituals we follow in Hindu religion, all those rituals are purely scientific and they are directly related to environment. If you read our sacred text, text 
thoroughly and perfectly, you will come to know that whatever prayer pattern we follow, whatever things we do related to God, related to prayer, they have a scientific base. And not even it is, it is not only related to prayer, but whatever specific activities people do in Hindu religion, it is directly connected to scientific base. There is always a scientific reason behind why we are doing a particular kind of thing. There is always a scientific reason behind why we are following a particular kind of ritual. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, we as parents, we need to tell our children that why we do it and what is the real scientific base of it. But in order to tell our children all these crucial things, first of all, we need to be knowledgeable. And we are not knowledgeable because we are disassociating ourselves with our own culture. If we disassociate ourselves with our own Hindu religion, our own Hindu culture, nobody will be there to tell the real facts and ideas to our kids. And the time is not far away when people will born in Hindu family and they will go against God, Hindu God. People will born in Hindu family, but they will always go against Hindu God. And very soon in future, ladies and gentlemen, there is a possibility that people will forget that there is some kind of Hindu religion also. These things, no pundit can teach you. No religious television can teach you. Only you can teach your children. If children are not taught these things at home, no outsider can ever make them understand the glory of our culture. That's why take your children to a village. Try to make them understand that why different types of rituals are followed in villages. And even at your home, whatever prayer methods you are following, try to tell your children everything about that. Don't tell that, okay, just bow your head in front of this particular statue, this is Brahma, this is Vishnu, this is Mahesh. No, tell them the real fact that why this prayer pattern you are following. Why only this is the prayer pattern for this particular God? Why not any other pattern? We follow different prayer patterns for different types of gods, be it Brahma, Vishnu, Ganesh, whatever. Different types of gods, according to Hindu religion, we follow different prayer pattern. Why we follow that different prayer pattern? Whatever that has been written, uh, that has been written in Avati and Sanskrit and whatever language, why it is written, what is its real meaning, we need to tell all these things to our children. If we want to save our Hindu religion, ladies and gentlemen, because there are already many, many forces who are consistently working to destroy our religion. And we are the only people who can save it if we consistently teach our children that what is the real worth of our religion. This is a very serious matter, ladies and gentlemen. This is not just about making a video and telling people all these good things. This is a serious matter and we Hindu people, we need to take it very seriously. Otherwise, our existence is in grave danger. That's all for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you loved my today's video. Please subscribe my channel, ERP Ushpande Trainer, Beta Can B. And please don't forget to press the bell icon so that every time you can get the instant notification of all my latest videos. Thank you very much. Have a great day.